All right, you know what? Just for that, we're doing an intro. Shit. Everybody, we're back. Yep. Yay. We're back. It's us. <laughs> it's it's us. us here at Deep Fried Dice, <laughs> and we're here with another series. Like I probably mentioned in the Among Us videos, I honestly don't remember. Videos. <laughs> <laughs> recording. Yeah, yeah recording. recording. You know what I meant. Frankly, I don't need your sass. <laughs> I invited you here for this intro, and this is the thanks I get. <laughs> not my fault you made and you bad expected decisions. anything different than yeah what you're that's getting. true that's yeah. true that is not your <laughs> you know fault. us well enough well we're back here again with another series um like i mentioned in the among us videos we'll be here at deep fried dice we'll be running two series at once one to be aired on fridays which will be among us and one which will be aired on mondays which is this series which i really hope that you guys enjoy but here's the thing there's two intros to this <laughs> Because we're dumb. Because we're big dumb idiots. Yeah, we're we real are. Dumb. We're big dumb idiots. We <laughs> we are already fairly all almost. We're almost all the way through this series, but we needed to record this intro because, as you'll see from the first part that we recorded, we thought that this was going to be a single adventure, a one shot, just a little short. Instead, we grew attached to this tale of pirates and. Booty and cannibals. balls. Yeah, <laughs> cannonballs. Yeah, that's that's the title, Treasure Ball. Yep. Oh my god. You brought it full circle, Elliot. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! But we grew we grew far too attached to these characters. Um organ stealers, though some of them may be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <sighs> Here you are with Treasure Ball. Again, apologies for the double intro, but, you we, know, we're, we're dumb. Big, we're big dumb. We're real, real dumb. We're dumbasses. But just so you know, this series, Treasure Ball, will be running on Mondays. So, enjoy. And please come back for Among Us next Friday. I hope. You know, and if this is your first thing that you're listening to from us, then what what are you doing? You missed. Like, hey, like, you what know. are you doing? You missed a huge chunk of, of, of another... Series. Maybe this one is just more their interest. Yeah. Don't. don't How do they be so know? Mean. They haven't listened to don't it be yet. Stupid. But like, maybe the description, graphic. the idea. Yeah. You know. That's true. That's Come true. on. Don't be mean to our Jeez. audience, Anthony. Yeah. Stop oh. alienating. <laughs> <laughs> we can't alienate our audience. <laughs> We've already done enough alienation. <laughs> Fair warning. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Deep Fried Dice. We're here with uh, <laughs> we're here with just a few of us this time, but uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun with with a short. We're gonna be using uh, Fate Accelerated to play a pirate game, um, which we all thought would be pretty fun. So it's me, Anthony, again, and then the two other players that are here are Elliot. Why don't you tell us who you'll be playing today? <laughs> yeah. I'm playing Abel. He's the ship ship's navigator. Okay, the ship's navigator. Very yeah, cool. A he likes loot. Uh, but pirate doesn't. Yeah, everyone likes that booty. Oh. That too. He likes that too. Oh. Get ready to hear that joke a lot. <laughs> oh, so much. Uh, okay, Devin, how about you introduce your character? Uh, I will be ca- playing Captain Lee, the captain of the Bloody Terror. Captain of the um, Bloody Terror. It's a good name. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good name. I'm a good captain. It's all right. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck you then. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm a Chinese woman, and I have an eye patch of my left eye, and I'm cool ass captain. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, bad ass. Some of the best pirates in history were women. Hell yeah. Yeah. They were. Yeah. They were brutal. Hell yeah. They were. Which I guess you're carrying on that tradition. Tits out. Is that true? Yeah, that true? they would. No, I they mean, would it's show... your character. <laughs> oh, maybe. Who knows? Oh, my God. 
But here's some pirate history. They literally some Hell very yeah. I forgot their names because it's three a.m. in the morning. But um, there were these two women who were pirates, and they would literally open up their shirts and reveal their breasts. One to confuse the enemy because they're like, yeah. what the fuck, breasts? Nice. And two, it was like a fuck you to them because it's like, ha, I'm a woman. Here's the proof. <laughs> and then they'd stab them. Nice, nice. Yeah. So tits out. <laughs> Respectable. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I've heard that before. I don't remember. I don't remember their names, but I think I've heard that story once before. Someone probably knows their names without without yeah. a doubt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bold statement. Someone probably knows their names, <laughs> but it's probably true. <laughs> probably that's how history works. You just add cool. probably to the end of, to the beginning of every sentence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how I did most of my science reports. Oh, and you graduated. Oh, I guess yeah. for science, I'm... that's the that's the key. I got an A in that class. I was like, probably. Oh, nice. And Miss was like, yeah, that seems about right. And I was like, yeah, damn right. <laughs> See, and that's that's the key with science is, you know, you can't ever speak in absolutes. That's why the flat Same earthers there. aren't scientists, you know. I'd respect them if they said probably the earth is flat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Then at least I could call them scientists. <laughs> Yeah, at least the people who are like, oh yeah, this earth is round, they go, probably. Like, <laughs> don't, don't, true, don't piss off our quality. flat earther audience. Yeah. Right, we have a high flat oh. earther audience. Uh, I count. bet we do. I bet we will. Or we will. Oh man, just cancel this podcast right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if, that's, if that's who we attracted <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> You know what, they were all on board for the whole tits out, booty out, and then we started talking about Flat Earth, and like, nah, we've got, to, we've got to cancel this show, we got to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll be protesting. I don't know where, you know, because this is online, but... Yeah, on the edge of the Earth that is flat, obviously. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I think we'll start off, then. You guys on the Bloody Terror, you and your crew which you can feel free to fill in the gaps if you wish, or we can fill in the gaps as we go, you know, Mm -hmm. as far as like who's on the crew. The only one we know for certain is Abel Clifton, the navigator with a prosthetic hand that he switches out. Hell yeah. According to the situation. I'm literally, I'm searching up boat terms because I realized I walked into this without looking up boat terms before. Oh my God. You didn't do your your, research. I was cleaning. I... (laughs) <laughs> do a lot of research, and for once in my life, know. I didn't, and I feel terrible. I feel so terrible. I was relying on you okay. to know this stuff. You shouldn't feel terrible. <laughs> I know. I've got, I've got a list of, on me You're phone fine. now. On me phone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I've got a list character. on me cellular device. <laughs> Arg. Arg. <laughs> I'm a boat now. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got 15 t- terms. 15? Oh, 15. me too. Oh my god. I got bow, stern, forward. <laughs> I think I know that one. Aft. Oh, okay. Underway, ahead. Mm, I think I know that one too. <laughs> Astern, port. I've heard that one before. Oh, it's the left side of the boat. This is, Starboard. This is great content. <laughs> yes. Port, boat. <laughs> The audience needs to know this because what if they don't know the boat terms? That's and then true. We just, but you're not we defining out... them. You're just <laughs> saying them. They can Google it. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. It's it's for authenticity. <laughs> Port quarter. Oh, that's new. <laughs> Starboard bow. The poop deck. Starboard quarter. <laughs> There's, there's no poop deck on this list. I don't care. The poop Amid deck ships. is a very important part of the ship. And yeah. then top side. Okay, I've got all my boat terms. Nice. <laughs> sail wasn't in there. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's a given. I don't think I know what a sail is. Or the crow's yeah. nest. Yeah, I know all that. Or the stuff. galley. Or the brig. Oh, oh shit. You know what those know terms mean. Uh, Check your privilege. Oh, wait, brigs. brigs. What? what? Not Prison. everyone might. Isn't it? They have Google. The brig is the prison, yeah. Yes. They have Google. Yeah. <laughs> what if they don't? What if they Educate don't? yourself. Then how are they listening to this podcast? What if they lost all net neutrality and then... Um, oh my god, no. <laughs> no. <They> can... <laughs> I'm going to date this episode. Yeah, you're dating um, it right now. <laughs> totally dating it. 
I'm, I mean, every, yeah. America's by the time you by the time you listen to this, you have you've probably honestly paid your cable provider like ten dollars a month just for the privilege of listening to this. Um, yeah, which in which case nobody's that. listening. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah, no, I, see. I mean, people in like Australia, we have like five people from Australia listening. <laughs> Hell yeah! Are they five people you know? Thank you, um, Australia. I know less. I'm sure they... I know less than five people. You know less than five. I don't. I mean, that's just not true. Probably, but I can't remember them, so <laughs> so they don't exist. They don't, ex- they don't <laughs> exist. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, you guys on the bloody terror. You guys are currently basically doing battle. On the on the high sea with another I ship, like yeah. fist on. you know, there's there's an explosion of cannon fire. You know, smoke kind of like flies into the into the air, um, and you know, part of the 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 ship cracks on the other side. You're you're not sure exactly who these people are. The 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 main thing is you guys were there to get the treasure that you you that you knew was there, and it was you know under the sea, but another ship showed up. Of course. Presumably of course. A- after the exact same treasure. Captain Lee, you know, you probably know what this is about. Do I? <laughs> <gasps> is it him? The bastard? <laughs> what do you guys do? It's oh. kind of uh, it's kind of like an organized chaos on the ship. You know, everybody's yelling. Do we have the treasure? Have we secured it? You have secured it, yes. Okay, so currently right now the game plan is trying to get rid of this other boat because yes. they're shitheads. So they can't follow nice. you. Alright, this is a boat plan. Shithead, another you, good you... boat term. <laughs> that wasn't on my list. Um, <laughs> it's an advanced term, not a basic term. Yeah, advanced term. Um, when you said crack in the ship, was that our ship or their ship? Their ship. You saw like an explosion of wood and splinters. Nice. nice. It's so good. George on the cannons, he's great. great Hell yeah. Humor. Everybody loves George. Um, Everyone loves George. George is the gutter. Uh... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so I guess I'm at the the wheel. If there's a special name for that, I'm gonna be so pissed off because I don't know it. Yeah, helmsman. I think. <laughs> so is the wheel the helm? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I don't know ship terms. I don't know any boat terms. Half this podcast will be the uh, will be everybody googling <laughs> boat terms. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit that out. I'm not <laughs> editing this out. Not I'm showing... <laughs> this is entertaining co- content right here. <laughs> this is great audio quality. No, um, it is helmsman. They steer the ship. Yeah, it's the person. It's not the name of the wheel itself. Oh, I think it's just the wheel. Isn't it the helm? Or the helm, yeah. I'm I, looking this the fuck said. up. God damn it. Name of the wheel on a boat. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, it's just called the it's called the steering wheel. Oh my god! Yeah, w- wouldn't that be my job as the navigator? Sure. <laughs> Hell yeah! I know it's a stressful time, and I'm the captain. <laughs> you take over everyone's job. Not everyone's. It's just all the cool ones. <laughs> the captain. The captain often does like actually like do the boat do thing, the, do the wheel thing, but like you're the one, but y- yeah. you're also trained to do. You that. tell me where to. Yeah, you tell me where to go. Yeah, the navigator just plots courses. I could do that. Yeah, you get to hang out with George. You're almost like a (laughs) researcher. Yeah. I like to think. Hell yeah. Who doesn't love research? Mm. Many people. We just spent most of the podcast Anyway, back to the action scene. (laughs) (laughs) Research is action packed. A cannon, you know, a, um, a cannonball flies, flies forward, landing in the water, splashing up onto the deck. They missed. Oh, thank God. But what do you guys do in this situation? We should try to sail out of here. Yeah, I'm yelling. We have I'm the yelling treasure. at George, Rupert, at Rufus. <laughs> um, <laughs> fuck. Elliot, give me more names. Uh, uh, um, I, <laughs> can we name someone? I, can't, I cannot think of a single one. <laughs> Ronald. Can we name someone, Elliot? No. Yes. I actually have to write this down. Rhombus, he's a Rhombus, <laughs> the classic pirate name, Rhombus. <laughs> Everyone's got a name with the starting with R because that's the only thing I can think Except of. Except for George, he's a bit of a funny shape. George, Rhombus, love <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
You have George, Rupert, Rhombus, and Rufus. Yeah, I'm sure we have more, but I will come up with more names. Okay, but what are you actually okay. doing? <laughs> I'm yelling at them. I am steering the boat so George has a clear line of sight at that cannon. I'm also yelling at them, at one of them. I'm probably kind of just yelling and pointing like, Rufus, Rupert, one of you fuckers, go! Um, <laughs> and uh, to help George shoot fire at these people. Okay, um, so how about while you trying to, trying to get a good position while you're yelling out, why don't you go ahead and roll? <clears throat> what approach do you think you'd be using? I, I would th- argue probably forceful. Yeah, I... Uh, can you explain them again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in, in Fate Accelerated... Yeah. No, that's that's fine. So in Fate Accelerated, you have your six approaches. Yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Oh, you know, I'm also explaining for the audience. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, Our best I mean, audience. Whatever. You have Careful, which is when you're, like, paying close attention, uh, trying to do the... the, the the job right, that kind of thing. Um, oh, I ain't doing that one. Yeah, exactly. Clever is requiring you to like think fast, solve problems with complex variables. So, um, like in a sort well, maybe of that one. maybe um, flashy is trying to draw attention to you. It's like style and panache. It's like a swashbuckler type of a thing. Forceful um, is like it's not subtle. You're just you're trying to get the job done in the most direct way possible. Quick is quickly. And with dexterity, um, so, you know, like dodging an arrow or something, trying to act before <laughs> your arch nemesis Montgomery. <laughs> and sneaky is Wait, sneaky. It's you're relying on misdirection, stealth, yeah. or deceit, or that kind of thing. Um, I think, because I'm in the, essentially in the heart of battle, I'm the captain and I'm making the orders, I think probably clever, because I've got several scenarios going in my head, like, okay, these people obviously need to help this person, and then we need someone else to do this idea. Like, And I'm also trying to steer a boat while I'm at it. I think that's just, I'm doing very complex things with my head right now. Okay. All right. So I just got to roll D6, right? You, you roll four D6. Okay. Remember, it works like fate. It, it's your fate dice. Yep. So Let's do some rolling. A one and a two is a minus. A three and a four is a is a null. It's nothing. And then a five and a six is a plus one. I got a six. So that's a plus. So that's that's a plus. Another six. So that's two pluses so far. Four. That's a blank. Yep. I'll draw For square. those of you listening at home, Devin owns one single D six. <laughs> and I'm writing down my results and I got another four okay so plus two and then plus your clever which is uh plus three okay nice so that's a plus five so you you managed to, to quickly um steer the boat around while yelling out orders to 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 some uh to George the gunner you know and he 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 you know he looks up at you and you know puts his fingers to his head and you know um like salutes you you know aye captain <laughs> nice i love george everyone does as you spin the boat around <clears throat> in in the waters the waves kind of lapping up and, and crashing up against your ship he, he takes aim and the cannon fire shoots out blasting into the side of their hull you see like you know a, a, a little flash and um an explosion of wood as there's some debris in the water oh beautiful beautiful so what do you what is Abel doing, Elliot? Uh, that's a really good question, Anthony. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe yes. he's... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I think maybe he's trying to see if there's a, a good way for them to get out of this. Like like a couple of rocks they could sail between to kind of cut them off. Something like that. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you're... Please do tell me, you're, you're looking, the captain. You're looking about the... Um, about the environment and you know the map that you found of this of this region, and go ahead and roll for that. Um, okay. What would you say? I have four I w- dice. Oh, hey, wonderful. <laughs> as do I. Um, hey, uh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I would say careful or quick. I would say careful. Okay. Then a plus two. Uh, okay, that's <laughs> that's three sixes and a four. Damn. So three pluses and a null plus two. Yeah. So five positives. Five. Hell yeah! Dang. We're so good are at you, this. Are um, you are you trying to like over? It's not overcome, is it? Um, so you're like creating an advantage. Sure. 
something like that. You're trying to like find an escape route. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so you created the advantage. Let's just say um, escape route. I guess <laughs> you Hell see like yeah. these this rocky outcropping um, against the horizon, and according to mm-hmm. this, there's like a kind of a safe spot that you could even use to like ambush them if they try to follow you in. You know, kind of cross referencing oh. it with your map. Yeah, fuck those Perfect. guys. So fuck yeah, um, so much. Escape route. So that's a that's a advantage aspect that you get a, a free invocation on, and nice. that can be used by um, even you, Captain Lee. Nice. They're they're starting to get closer to you, the other ship, and um, another blast fires off. This time it doesn't miss, and the cannon blasts forward, um, smashing into one of your um, one of the the big sticks that holds up the sails. <laughs> a post? Sure, yeah, the post. It smashes into to one of them toward the back of your ship. It kind of splintering the wood and um you can tell even just by looking it's the mast. Lee. Yeah, one of the masts. Thank you. I even oh, knew that. It. My brain's just like I have a better list of boat terms, so Nice. I don't have my boat list to open. But it's cracked cool. and it looks like it might actually fall if you're to, um and be broken. Need Jeez. to be fixed. Oh no. Okay. If I look at the crew on the poop deck, um... <laughs> I don't think they'd be on the poop deck if I know where that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if they're on, these on the boat top terms. boat... <laughs> I don't have my boat terms open. But if they're on, the, if they're on top side, um... Like, the lumber works, how they work, is it gonna go starboard or port ways oh my if God. it falls? It, the starboard's it, the front, right. and the port is the back. No, no it's the left and right. Left. It said the back on here. Oh, I, I was reading no. it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm bad at boats. Boat. <laughs> yeah. They're so bad strange boats. creatures. You know, we don't need to, like, use all of the boat terms. <laughs> we don't want but to. But we could. Okay. That's okay. This is pirates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to fall to your left. So s- Port. That's port. Okay. Whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna yell some orders at I don't know, Rupert. Rupert's probably in the way. And Rhombus. You know, those are the kind of two that With get in the way like of things, you know? Yeah, Rupert yeah. and Rhombus um, are like <laughs> they're like they're they're yeah. <clears throat> they're running around the ship, you know. One of them has like a mop. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> One of them has like a mop and he's need, trying like, desperately tea? to. I could use some tea actually. I should have made it beforehand, but you fool. I'm I'm a dumb. You're a dumb. But he. Wow, I can say that. That's my <laughs> word. <laughs> you know, like Rhombus is running around with like a mop. He's like trying to like like clean up the ship in the middle of this, and Rupert. Oh, we tr- love him. Rupert's like 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 trying to help. It's basically like two stooges, you know. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're worth they're worth three. Um, but, uh, Reese died. Oh, last. no. Yeah. They, oh, no. they three stooges id too hard. Oh. <laughs> Tragic. Oh, you know what? Rufus is probably their, um, replacement brother. Yeah, and Rufus, like, oh. Rufus really doesn't like it. That yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's Rambus just because his are... name starts with an R. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, Rufus, like, has actual intelligence to him, so he doesn't, like, yeah, being he, right he earned exactly. his Exactly, and he has, like, a job to do, you know? Yeah. <laughs> He's, at, at this point, probably Rufus is trying to strap the, the mast, you know, and kind of do some, like, quick jury rigging to make sure it doesn't mm-hmm. fall, you know? And mm. R- R- Good old Rufus. R- Rupert and Rhombus are, like, you know, trying to help. Badly. Yeah. I kind of yell at them to, like, Leave Rufus alone. Oi there, Rufus! <laughs> you want some help? <laughs> no, leave me alone, you fuckers! <laughs> oh my god. Yep. So, the ship is, is not in the best state, but, you know, it can be fixed. So, what, what, are, you do, what are you doing, actually, Captain Lee? Um, I am... I assume well, Abel like I yells I was... out about the, the thing. Oh, Abel yelled out! Nice. Did he? I'm... No, he kept it to himself. Yeah, I yelled it out. Well, you never said it. He never... I'm sorry, Abel does yell out, try to give, like, instructions on how to get there and use it. This is why your Discord name is Root Bitch. 
<laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he calls it out. We're all bitches in this chilly night. <laughs> it's true. So what do you do, it's Captain true. Lee? Okay, well, now that Abel has given me that tasty, delicious <laughs> information, I'm going to steer the boat. Uh, I'm yelling instructions in boat terms uh, to my crew. I'm going to keep saying that without actually, s- <laughs> without actually saying the boat terms, because I don't know them that well. Um... And I make my way uh, to line up perfectly with the rocks, and then we go right through them. Um, and you said that there was a place where we could ambush them, correct? Yeah. Do you reckon we're fast enough to put ourselves in the ambush spot before they come and follow us? Maybe. You don't know exactly where it is. You'd be relying on <clears throat> on um, uh, an able to, to lead um, you through the cliffs. Okay. Um... All right. As I steer, I'm, I'm steering the boat towards uh, the rocks. I kind of like gesture for Abel to get his ass up. Um, I'm right. I'm right there. The I'm way. right there. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Thank you. I've been here the whole time. Beautiful boy. <laughs> Thank you, Abel. Um, and then I kind of like I've got one hand on the wheel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no. Um. I've got one hand, I've kind of like, I've grabbed Abel's shirt and I've pulled him close towards me. Oh, this and is I unnecessary. Go, this is unnecessary, but this is a very stressful situation. And I look him with my one eye and I go, you better put me in that ambush spot, you little bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm reporting this to HR. <laughs> we don't have an HR. I am HR. You get full food after this. Yeah, you do. This. His Just name is on. Hector Rodriguez. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Hector I, is HR. I, 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 I call captain. him HR because it's shorter than his real Yeah, name. and he does in fact handle all the disputes on the ship. Yeah, yeah, he does. Tough job. It is. We're pirates. So you're you're putting the onus on Abel to 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 lead you. Yep. <laughs> I'm I'm confident I can do this. No, so okay. Yeah. That's why he's on the crew. Are you actually driving the ship, Lee? <laughs> No, <laughs> Lee, are you? Are I you put your foot on the uh, gas pedal. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna keep saying it. You're driving it. I'm driving. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll. Wait, okay. You're getting closer to the rocky um, cliff faces, and um, you know there's like an explosion of rocks that come tumbling to the ground as one as the the ship following you fires again. But as you as you enter it, go ahead and roll. I would say, pro- are you? What are you? Are you trying to do it carefully or quickly? Um, I guess quickly. Quick? Yep. Alright, so I've got a one, so that's a minus. Four, which is a blank. Three, which is a blank. Mm Mm-hmm. So far you have minus one. And a six. Okay. So you have plus two, just from your quick. And you you do have a free invoke of the, um, the asp. The, escape the advantage. The uh, the advantage that uh, Abel created. Um. Yeah. I guess I'm using it to get into that ambush spot. Okay. So with a plus four, you um you navigate through the rocks with Abel kind of pointing the way ahead of you. Um. You know. You kind of cross reference. You know. You you note your map is fairly accurate. <laughs> you know, satellite imagery and all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but your your map is fairly accurate as you 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 move through and uh sure enough there's like this little cove in there that you knew about and so you you very quickly get the ship in there uh kind of spinning it around quick you know is a loose term when it comes to ships but you know it's quick for a ship yeah um quicker than they did though yeah definitely quicker than they did and you get spun around with you know george has the line of sight perfect i order the rest of the crew even the stooges um to uh, get ready for battle and to join George so he's not on his goddamn own shooting the cannons poor George yeah George is I mean he's just been running between each cannon Should really hire on more cannoneers <laughs> I like to think that at this yeah. point we, we know your whole crew yeah uh, let's see so that's George Rufus Rhombus Rupert Rhombus and Hector and of course Abel and me yeah it's like a skeleton crew yeah 
I need to hire more people. Well, that's it. This you've treasure used, will help You've me tried do that. to use that term before. It's skeleton crew and rhombus is always like, "Ooh, where?" He's like, "Skeletons." <laughs> he gets all scared. Hey, Am I a skeleton? You got one in you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon he has nightmares about that? Definitely. <laughs> Guaranteed. He wakes up in a sweat and he's like, <gasps> "I've got a skeleton inside, inside of me." <laughs> Rupert, and he's like, Rupert, I'm did you to feel know bad I got a <laughs> Rupert, go back to bed, you idiot. We're <laughs> <laughs> being so mean to Rhombus. <laughs> <laughs> his name's Rhombus! <laughs> that wasn't his fault. <laughs> You have, um... Oh, what if he did, in fact, picked it? What if he had, like, a normal name, like, Steve, but then he went onto the pirate life, and he's like, oh, Rhombus is gonna be my pirate name. Because he <laughs> didn't know what a Rhombus was. I love that. <laughs> oh, I love it. And we don't you're know his name whole... is Steve. I, I just realized you're running this whole ship with, like, seven people. You're, you two included. <laughs> They're the only ones we yeah. care about. How about that? Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's other fair. other people, but we just don't care about the rest. It used to be yeah, eight honest... before, you know, the incident. <laughs> yeah. When... <laughs> oh, I was probably on a different boat by then. <laughs> well, that was Reese. We've already established. Oh, that was Reese. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Reese, I completely... F- See, once he's dead, you know, <laughs> they just leave the brain. Yeah, and I mean, what happened to him? You couldn't even get the organs. Which I know Captain <laughs> Lee's all about that life. <laughs> yeah, it's good money. <laughs> yeah. So you sit there, and there's this moment of, there's this moment of silence as everybody prepares. Um, you you sit there with like kind of there are kind of trees uh, growing off the side of the 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 cliffside, hanging out, hanging off over you, kind of providing some shade from the suns up in the sky. There's like condensation dripping down from the cliffs. Oh, sweet! You know, there's like a breeze going through. It's it's actually quite a nice feeling. But you sit there waiting, and you hear the, the lapping of waves up against the cliff faces, and eventually you see the, the ship come in. George holds himself for a moment, waiting for the, the opportune moment, uh, as the, the kind of the, the point, the pointy end of the ship. There's probably a term for it, but you know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, wait, bow? Yeah, wait, let me get my boat Yeah, terms. bow, front end of the boat. Yeah, as the, as the bow comes comes forward, it's bow, by the way. Yeah, all right. <laughs> as the bow comes fo- comes forward, and it, it kind of glides into the bay, and they don't see it in time, as the cannons go off one by one, bang, 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 just bangs, you know, <laughs> you know boom, <laughs> yeah. boom, and you know, there's yeah, some like black powder comes off into the air, just a little bit of it as the cannon fire goes off as George lets them off one by one and the the cannonballs rip through the ship on the other side nice and you see them scrambling all about as their mast is torn apart their holes are opened up in the bottom of the <laughs> ship and it just slowly sinks into the bay hell yeah a couple of they they let off a few cannon fires of their own but they they can't aim at all with what's going on most of it was impulse mm-hmm. as they begin to sink Fuck that boat. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're such the good pirates. Best pirates. We're so Absolutely. good. Does everybody okay. high five? <laughs> everybody high yes, five. High Everyone high jumps five. into the air, high fives, and there's like a yeah. freeze frame. <laughs> <laughs> I um I turn to Abel. Uh, I give him a high five, of course. Hell yeah. Um, do you hit me with the with the normal hand or the It's my fighting hand, prosthetic. so it's like a big ball. <laughs> Ball. My fight, <laughs> man. Yeah. I high five <laughs> your ball hand. I kind of just like hold on to the ball. <laughs> like, and I like shake it a bit, like, yeah. Um, and then I kind of I calm down for a bit and I go, I'm sorry I called you a little bitch earlier. It's, it's all right. It's all right. That was probably, probably uncalled for. I'm sorry about it's that. It's all right. I won't tell HR. It was a tense situation. Okay. It was very tense, I'm sorry. And then I kind of shake your hand. My real hand? Ball. No, your ball hand. Okay. And I go, thank thank you for understanding, Abel. You know, I'm glad to have you on the crew. No problem, Captain. And now I want to sail this bad boy out of here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so part of the treasure that you guys um, retrieved 
it was it was kind of a deal that you had with another pirate, um, Holbrook. Basically, Holbrook is kind of you know, I mean he's a pirate, but he's he's as far as pirates go on the up and up. You've worked with him before. Um, basically, you were told about this treasure and you have it. It's you know classic. Let's just say it's in a chest. But you pulled it out of the water, and you, you haven't gotten the chance to look at it yet, but you know that, that all the treasure in it is yours, except for one thing that he yeah, needed. Yeah, that's out a fair deal. What is it? What's the he, one thing? He told thing? you it's basically like a, like a disc in there, like a metal disc mm-hmm. with some etchings on it. Do we know what it, it does? Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't know entirely what it does, no. Does, you just know that he, he wanted it. Does he earn a DVD valuable. player? Do we have to get him a DVD he always wants he always wants these um, kind of like oddities and stuff. Okay. Do, do you go down and open the chest? It's kind of just sitting there. You haven't gotten a chance um, to look at it. We should. It's, it's treasure. Yeah. I. All right. I steer. I drive the ship. We're keeping that. We'll drive the <laughs> ship out of a little <laughs> out of a little ambush spot and onto the open water, and then like once we've hit calm calm seas. Um, yeah, I'll go down. Probably with Abel. Maybe uh, Rupert and Rhombus might follow because they're idiots. <laughs> okay. Um, say hi to George on the way down. Salutes you again. Nice. I love George. He's great. Yeah, George came from um, the Navy before he defected. Hell yeah. Oh, beautiful. He's super cool then. <laughs> love him. Um, yeah, and then we, let's open this sucker up. Okay. You get down there and you, you, look, at the, you look at the chest. It's a big metal thing it's kind of um well it's, it's fairly chest shaped but um on the top you see just a um like a, a circular locking mechanism um you've seen this you've seen this kind of chest before across the whenever you go to places like this you know it's often used <clears throat> um it's watertight and all of that but you you kind of you use the mechanism kind of um press a few buttons on it twist it around and pop it open and with like a with a hissing tss- sound it it does it it snaps open you see inside there are stacks of um paper money as well uh kind of stacked on top of um a few piles of coins nice and and like you see like a few pieces of precious metal like you see some cobalt in there um you see some like raw platinum that kind of stuff are there any jewels you see a few jewels of course nice and most of the most of the money is paper currency which is Good, because that's what's usually used. Do things. Not be tr- traced as easily. Yeah. Yeah. Mixed in with all of it, uh, almost imperceptible, almost, not imperceptible, almost um, hidden among it, among it all, you see a kind of thick disc. Mm-hmm. It's like, not quite as big as a DVD, it's probably like, it's probably like a five inch, mm. five inches across. Does it look like one of those GameCube DVDs? <laughs> Um, Game Ma, Cube. Get a ruler. It's a GameCube disc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, he just really wanted to play Super Mario Sunshine. Does it have <laughs> oh, yeah, good Mario's face on it? And you're like, ooh, who's this dude? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, but it's it's like, it's metal and it has some engravings on it. And um, Abel, actually, you kind of recognize it as something that would have been used a long time ago, actually, as a, as a like a directions type of a thing oh nice you don't have the necessary tools to like read it but you know that but that's it's still what it cool is. but it's pretty cool yeah mm. so now that you have your treasure do you guys take off yeah back let's to go Holbrook? to the port that Holbrook's hanging out yeah in. then we can divvy up the yeah. loot actually while we're on the way to the port because he just wants the disc right mm-hmm. okay um then on the way I give the money to Jordan New boy. Uh, oh, there's another person Jordan. now. Jordan. New boy. Jordan. Is he literally just new? No, 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 no. I'm just saying this is a new character. Oh, okay. <laughs> that did not start with the letter R. And, uh, oh, we're pirates! <gasps> okay, no, shut up. What? I just got it why I kept everyone called R. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, 
that, that in the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a lot of sense okay. now that you point it out. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, but this new boy, Jordan, um, he's not a new boy. He's been in the crew for, for some time, so I trust him. I give him the orders to divvy up uh, all the jewels and all the um, money as fair for pay. Um, so everyone gets their share of the loot, and then uh, everything else goes into our a r um, into <laughs> into the kind of like bank we've got for um, company expenses. Mm. Company expenses, okay. <laughs> and you begin to take off, kind of plotting the course uh, to to back to Holbrook. Um, you should be there probably within just a few hours it wasn't that far away from his uh his port nice nice you take the helm again captain lee and um abel you plot the course and you you kind of you flip a few switches on your ship and it, you know the ship begins to hum in the usual way that it does you see kind of like the little bit of uh almost like like electricity running across this like mm-hmm. almost like wall that's around your ship the atmosphere the water begins to part a little bit as the ship lifts up out of the water spilling down to the ground waves kind of being created artificially by the by the actions of your ship as you you take off pulling yourself out of the water and up into the skies off of this planet to get back Hell to yeah. Holbrook. um so is our mast doing okay i know it took a bit of damage and now we're currently in flight Rupert has so... it strapped together and he says that it should hold um, at least until you get to Holbrook, and okay, that's and good. you should be able to fix it there. Okay. You definitely have All the right. money for it. <laughs> yeah, in the company expenses. Yep. Yep. That's that's why we have the fund. Yeah, you take off, kind of leaving the planet behind, seeing the vast oceans down below and dotted, you know, um, islands and you know the continent far away, but you know uninhabited most likely, as far as you know. This wasn't exactly a planet that's used for. It's not like a colonized planet, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's kind of like you you got the the tip because it was like it was kind of like a freighter or a um a cruise ship or something that um basically crash landed there and that's why there's treasure down there. Cool. Ooh, nice. Um is what Holbrook said. But you take off the planet becoming smaller and smaller as you leave the atmosphere, enter into the the black of space and fly onward to to one of the the planets kind of toward the the edge of the solar system did you guys want to do anything on the flight i mean other than jordan divvying up the money and giving everyone their pay before they go into port and um, he he does that all right um then i guess we're all good okay I'm, I'm going to assume the crew understands that once we get to port they're free until we leave and mm-hmm. i'll tell Just them like usual. when we leave so that yeah, just like usual. All right. So you approach the planet at the outer of the solar system, uh, one that you've grown used to seeing, as this is where Holbrook Station is. It's kind of like a port of call, just kind of orbiting the planet. You hear the heavy lock as your ship is secured into place, and your crew begins to split off, heading to their usual places in this port. It's definitely not your first time here. All right, nice. I pick up the container we picked up from the water because I'm going to assume that's where the disc still is after Jordan divvied up money mm-hmm. um, I check the case so like oh yeah disc still there yep. good um, was I the only one who made this deal with Holbrook or was for example Abel was, with me there Abel was probably with you because I'm just going to Abel's probably the second in command and you're, you're yeah. kind of right hand man mm-hmm First mate? First mate. Right? Yep. Hell yeah, Abel. First mate. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, well then, you know, just Abel, like, come on, let's go. And... So bossy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain. You are the boss, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and then, yeah, we go to Holbrook, say goodbye to the crew, tell Rhombus not to hurt himself. As usual. Um, make sure he eats breakfast and dinner. Yeah. <laughs> we love him. Uh, and then, yeah, off we go. All right, so you head off into the port, seeing some other pirate fellows throughout throughout drinking and otherwise having a good time. Polite hellos as you walk by, you know. 
Um, you see Holbrook in one of the bars at a table. He looks like he's recounting a tale, just finishing up, actually, as you approach. He clears everyone away, telling them he'll see them mm-hmm. later. And for the reference, yes, like, Holbrook owns this whole station. Nice. You know, it is his port. You know, it's not just, like, a meeting spot. It's This is this is his, like, refuge. It's like his, like, Isle of Tortuga. Mm, nice. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we sit down yep. at the table, you know, Take a seat. swashbuckling. You sit yeah. down at the table, he has his drink in front of him, and he kind of regards you taking a swig of it. Captain Lee, it's so good to see oh, you again. Oh, Brooke, such nice to see you, old man. Now, and then I kind of plop the, gently, because I understand he wants his artifact or whatever the fuck it is, like, he's still intact. So I gently plop down the case in front of him, and I push it. Uh, in front of his face, and I go, your end of the deal? <laughs> well, you got it, that's for sure. He says he kind of, like, he, he looks at it. Looks intact, too. I'm glad my sources were right about this. We did encounter a spot of trouble, though, while we are on the water. Did you now? Hmm. I didn't think anybody else knew about this. Ah, so you're suspecting possibly... Someone else going after your same interests, rather than not just you outsourcing the same job to another, hmm? What are you accusing me of, Lee? I, I'm just saying, you know, I, I'm not going to accuse you of good business practices, um, but you know me, I'm a reputable, uh, contractor. You know me as well, Lee. I'm as reputable as you. <laughs> Sorry. That'd be really hilarious if I'm not reptable. I don't imagine <laughs> like you are. <laughs> I'm probably not, but I just think that's very funny if I was. <laughs> of course I didn't um, give this job to yeah. anyone else, Lee. It was yours from right. the start. I don't double book Thank my you. my cruise. Thank you. Thank you, Holbrook. I just I do with more than to just be quite you. frank, I don't appreciate the accusation. I sorry. It was a very stressful situation. I yelled at a few people when I know I shouldn't have. She did. And then I give like Abel a quick look. He's nodding. Um <laughs> Um, but you do know that I've dealt with far worse people who would try and pull that same sort of shit. <laughs> I've heard stories, mm. Lee. Well, Holbrook, it's nice seeing you. And then I kind of reach a hand and, like, pat his back. You know, kind of like, mm-hmm. hey, buddy. Um, and he's like, he's like, go, he's kind of like almost the, the anti, the antithesis to you, Lee. You're like a, a small, like, Chinese woman. And it's 5'5", five, five, and he's like, he's like, like, 6'2", you know, and like, broad <laughs> shoulders, incredibly, like, hulking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I still, I lean out, give him a little yeah. pat on the back, and I you know, go like, you know, if you ever need me again, just call. Always here for you, Holbrook. Uh, we'll be leaving on the morrow if you have another contract up your sleeve. Well, uh, oh. since you mention it, I most likely do. Oh, God, really? <laughs> okay. Are you interested in a, another job? Uh, Lee kind of sighs, goes, <sighs> and then she sits down, <laughs> and she goes, okay. She kind of rolls her hand, and she goes, Continue. Well, I don't know exactly what yet, but he kind of puts his finger down on this on the the disc that you guys retrieved for him in your last job that you just finished. Um, Abel, you recognize this, don't you? Do I? You do. Oh, right. Okay. I sorry, I got confused. Yeah, I recognize it. It's an interesting find, isn't it? It definitely is. I'm a bit jealous you have it. Do you want to see what's on it? Absolutely. If my sources are correct, this should lead, well, this should lead to a grand treasure. He sits up a little straighter. Does it? A treasure that will ensure neither of you will ever need to set foot on a boat again, unless you want to. Okay, yes, because you do know- you Definitely have me in on this. Yeah. I mean, my life does run on the ship, but I am definitely interested. Good. Enjoy your stay here at the, the port. I will be in contact with you, uh, probably by tonight. You're free to come with me if you wish to see what's on this. I'd love to. He says and kind of gives you a wink, Abel, but lifts the it up. The offer's there. And, and he kind of like nods his head toward the door. He begins um, to leave. Do you mind, Captain, if I go with him? Oh, can I go with you? I, 
if he's okay with it. Yes. The the answer is yes, we're going we're going okay. 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 <laughs> Captain Lee gets up and kinda of like grabs okay. Abel, like we're going Abel, All right. let's go. As you guys are talking, as you guys are talking, you know, like Holbrook is already pretty much out the door. You guys oh hurry after him. <laughs> We're like two kids who like their parents have like, oh yeah, we're gonna go get Maccas, and they just grabbed the keys and left, and then we're like, oh shit, Maccas, and then we're gonna <laughs> we're running. For to those the of car. you listening, Maccas is what Australia calls McDonald's <laughs> oh, because shut they're up. upside down over there. Yep. No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the Australians listening to this podcast, you know exactly what I'm on you about. Do. You do and know you what you can he translate on about. <laughs> Oh fuck you! <laughs> As you guys walk walk down walk down the the street of the port, kind of looking out, you see your you see your ship, the Bloody Terror, off in the distance. You know, no one's on it right now, um, but you know it's safe. Holbrook's port is well. Pirates have a code, you know. Nobody's gonna take mm-hmm. somebody else's ship or do anything to it. Um, and if they do, then well, they're probably gonna die pretty quick. <laughs> Good. Yes. And then their organs are being sold. I'm just saying. <laughs> Always comes back to the organs being sold. Maybe, mm-hmm. maybe you should see someone about this, Captain. <laughs> uh, maybe you can navigate me to a therapist, but eh. <laughs> Pirate therapist. Yes. Surely they exist. Isn't that HR's job? Mm, I think we should... We should mm, give HR a break. Honestly... Yeah, honestly, HR, he does an all good awful lot of work on on the bloody terror. Always has and to deal with know, Ramis I'm, and the other it, one. They're Rupert and Rufus, Abel. Honestly, they're your crew, they're your family. There's so many Remember R- their names. There's so many R's, alright? I know I'm one man. This Okay, good point. Honestly, if a trick, just go and then one of them will pipe up. <laughs> You don't even have to finish. You don't even have to finish the name. You just start, and then one of them will come. That's some really good advice, Captain. That's I well just, spring of knowledge. That's some Captain oh Lee, Captain Lee advice to you, <laughs> my dear. F- <laughs> one of them will come, <laughs> and then I kind of give Abel a pat on the shoulder. <laughs> And I assume he's going to be taller than me, so I'm like kind of oh, like yeah. on my tippy toes because we're walking and like yeah, see, and I kind of give him a nod like yes. I as you guys are walking down Holbrook, eventually, um, by, uh, he eventually says um, something. Have any of you heard of Townsend? Have we? Have we? You've not. No. Okay. Nope. Townsend was a ship, and an old ship, bigger than. And he kind of re- points over to your galley, mm. bigger than your ship, bigger than mine even. Massive ship. Cruise liner, most likely. It's been lost. Really? Yep, ships do that. Must be something to lose such a big ship. If I'm right, this, these coordinates should lead us mm. to that. It should lead us to Townsend, somewhere in this somewhere in this system. Ooh, within the system? Mm. That saves us. Or the next, who knows. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just, you're trying to save fuel well, here, you know? I assume there's a lot of treasure on that. If the legends are true, ship, hmm? then yes. But who cares about fuel? Yeah, this guy's got the right idea, Lee. Well, you know, if we don't have enough fuel, we can't get out there, can't get the treasure, we get stuck in space, blah, 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 blah. We all die from heat loss. You know, I just got to keep these things in the back of my mind. Tell me, Lee, how many times has that happened? Once. One, two, a dozen. Once, Who can count? I had to kill someone in order to stay alive. It was a rough time. Did not get it. What happened to Reese? <laughs> no, I was not involved with Reese or his organs. Ooh. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's how you, that's a sign of respect. That when you die, the captain doesn't harvest your organs. <laughs> I'm going to assume I'm the only captain who really does this. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> it's a way to get a reputation. <laughs> so you guys get to um, get to a door. Holbrook kind of like knocks a couple of times and then opens it himself walks in uh there's a there's a woman in there um who s- is kind of like reading a book you know you see like a glass of wine oh, yeah. on the table do we recognize her no you don't recognize okay. her i hear a nod of acknowledgement and hello she nods back but kind of like her eyes still on the book okay i tip my hat and then i keep going yep. yeah she doesn't she doesn't respond twice <laughs> she <laughs> just keeps reading but you guys walk past her and um and he kind of mentions you know i uh, don't don't mind valerie She'll she'll help us when she needs to. Good to know. And he kind of he takes the disc 
into another room um, adjacent. You guys walk in, and um, you see um, Abel. You're immediately like kind of like you 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 light up even just a little bit because um, you know this whole room is kind of meant for navigation. Nice. You see like the buttons all around. It's kind of like a, a kind of it's pretty much just a sphere, kind of metal all around, and you know you can see like the the lenses all around that will project holograms of you know places to go basically mm-hmm. uh, basically like a 3d map awesome the hollow deck hell yeah but hell he walks yeah. up he kind of taps uh, taps a few buttons on the, the side of the wall the, the panel slides open and a, and a piece comes out and you you don't you recognize this as a very old device that are that's used to to um basically read these instructions mm-hmm. that you guys retrieved um you don't see those around very often he inserts the the disc in and um it it kind of like it latches on and then uh, it latches on to like a face and then kind of like spins down to the side and inserts itself in uh the 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 thing slides back over covering up the the thing and you hear like some beeping and kind of nothing happens for a little bit damn we need to clean the disc <laughs> <laughs> have i tried blowing on it yeah, you have one of those cloths, or do you need like do you have one of those discs that you already put into I the got, DVD player? I got some player? spray in my my bag. Yeah, Abel's got some spray. You want to get Abel spray? <laughs> just just give it a minute. Okay. You sure you don't? He he hits the side of the wall, <laughs> <laughs> and then like a whirring comes comes about, and you see the the lens is kind of like erupt in a flash of light and you see this like um this like greenish um map appear and you see the system the solar system you're in currently yes it kind of like spins around you see the the planet and and holbrook station kind of circling around it and the interesting thing to you um abel first thing that pops into your mind is that with how old this disc was like holbrook station wasn't here Hmm. when this was made so like this this thing is just reading. It's able to update itself. That's really cool. Either that, or it's getting its information from somewhere else. Really? It's most likely what you're thinking. That's even cooler. But you don't know from where. Hmm. You look, and um, it kind of like it kind of like moves around. You see the solar system just kind of moving slowly on itself. You see the 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 two suns in the middle of it. You see the planet, the the planet that you were on before with the crashed uh, cruise ship. It kind of zooms out a bit. And you see the, the, the solar system becomes way smaller and you see like another one off to the side and another one off to the side, you know, very, very, very far away from each other because, mm. you know, that's how space works. Yeah. I wish they were closer. I want to go to that other planet. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? Anymore? I always have since I was a little kid and now more than ever. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, um... The, the map around you kind of moves around. Uh, it, it It's kind of almost shaky. Um, Lee, you kind of, you're not used to looking at this kind of stuff and you kind of like, you, you feel like a little bit like motion sick from looking at it for oh, a yeah. moment. And I probably feel like a dumbass because it's like, these two shits know all about these maps. I'm like, yeah, I got a basic understanding. It's a map. I know enough. But it kind of like shakes around and you see it, it move off to the side to the, the solar system next to it, and then off to the side to another one next to it again. It kind of, like, goes into it, and you see another solar system. And Lee, at this point, you're like, oh, I've been there. Nice. <laughs> and But but it kind of, like, it, it stays there for just a moment before coming back out again and moving again. And eventually, after doing this quite a few times, getting many systems away from where you are, it goes in, and you see a system. Actually, that that would be that'd be a lie. A, a system is not the right term for this. You see a star. Just one. You see a star. It zooms into the star, and you see, you see a belt, you know, like an asteroid oh. belt surrounding it, hmm. like far, far away from it. But you know, like that's all that's there yeah. in that system is a single belt of asteroids. It hmm. kind of stays there for a moment and goes in, the the hologram moving about, and Holbrook is just watching it. He's silent. And you can see um, in the doorway, you can see at this point, Valerie, uh, the woman who was in the other room, she's also kind of staring in at this kind of like a look of wonder on her face. You see one particular thing in the asteroid belt. You see this this area. You 
Abel would probably be the first to, to notice this. Mm-hmm. You note that it's just like, it's so unnatural how it is. You note that the asteroids around it are almost perfectly in a sphere, as if there's a there's something in there. There's a circle. Right. And it just stays on that, and the, the hologram kind of follows it along. Huh. And it looks like basically this bubble. Treasure ball. <laughs> Treasure ball. Yeah. Hey, we found the name of our... Of yes! The, yes! That's the name of the <laughs> this game, Treasure Ball. Oh yep. my god, I, I literally had a graphic pop into my head right at that nice. moment. Treasure Ball. Oh, it's so dumb. I love it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm so good at this. The podcast is called Deep Fried Dice. It yeah. Works. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Anthony, come on. <laughs> but yeah, you do. You see this treasure ball. And the closer you look at it, Abel, as it becomes less of a hologram and more like real, you know, at least it's mm-hmm. filling in all the blanks, getting texture and all of that. You see that indeed the um, in this treasure ball. How good are the graphics? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of see this like this... Um, kind of what do you call it like a um, like a distortion Mm -hmm. even looking through it like the stars don't look right on the other side there's definitely something there and Holbrook kind of looks at it and he's curious himself that must be where she is would make sense and it was pretty far away a few systems away it's pretty far away you don't you don't recognize the star Mm. you recognized the system that was closest to it you 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 do recognize about how long would it take to get to that system um to get to that system it would it would take probably a good week of travel. Mm. Oh, okay. okay. That one's just been called like immortal, like that's what the star is called. Mm-hmm. So just to get to that system, immortal, would take probably about a week. To get to the other star, I mean, do you want to find out? Do you want to do your navigation stuff yeah, on I this do. map? Hell yeah! Abel, kind of, you kind of reach out and start moving the map around and kind of like zooming in and out and looking at what every like landmarks around it, space marks. So go ahead and make a um. Go ahead and make your roll. I would say use careful and you can use your stunt. Never okay. lost. Uh, it's a six, a five, a three, and a four. So two pluses and two nothings. So that's two pluses? Yeah. So plus your careful, which is... Uh, two. So that's four. Yeah. Plus... And then plus your stunt. So, so that's six. that's six. We're nice. so good at this game. Yeah, you you very quickly move, move about on the map, um... Lee, you probably have to look away at a moment because it's moving really fast through systems. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably like, oh, God, where's the door? And, like, maybe see Valerie. I don't know. Yeah, you, you move toward oh. the door with Valerie. Yeah. Kind of look out into the, the kind of almost library-esque area in, in yeah. the front. Um, it's kind of quaint. that it's one nice. is, isn't giving me motion sickness. <laughs> exactly. You look through um, the system and and you think that, that you can plot a course. Actually, no, you know that you can plot a course. You have it basically in your mind right now exactly what your course from the Immortal Star. Mm-hmm. And it would take it would take probably another five days to get okay. there. So one week plus five days, thereabouts. Oh, that's so many rations. And the fuel <laughs> Yeah, you're hearing this behind you're hearing it behind you. And you're yeah, like, you're I'm about doing the... all the like calculations of like, oh, the rations, and like everyone's gonna want bacon for breakfast, ugh, and then I'm gonna have to pay for fuel, and Space like, someone's bacon. gonna need a yes, someone's gonna need a like you know a sick bag, <laughs> so ugh. yeah, like I'm like all that's going through, and like probably Valerie, if she's looking at me, she can probably see the face yeah, journey no, I'm going on. Valerie, Valerie, are you okay? I just ugh. No, I'm fine. I'm fine, young lady. And at this point, looking out as you, you calculate, you kind of look out and, you know, you see your ship over there and you see another ship pull into port. <gasps> Is it him? Is it the bastard? It's the bastard. <gasps> yes! So we'll call him. Can we call the ship the bastard? Absolutely. Yes. You see the bastard pull into pull into the port, lock into place, and you see the, the familiar etchings kind of like the black stripes on the side of it and the um racing stripes racing stripes <laughs> <laughs> the massive like ruby jewel adorned on the the bow of the ship just right there front and center oh okay something that you've always been kind of a little jealous of yeah i say it's like oh it's like oh it's too flashy he's obviously showing off he's got too much money but you but like it. secretly <laughs> Yeah, secretly, that's a cool ass power move. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's a power move right there. <laughs> um, so I can see all this happening from the doorway. Yes. Right. Yeah. 
am I like looking out through a window or like like am I like direct sight of the boat? You're looking out through a window. Okay. And you know it's it's not like right outside. You know okay. it's it's a little ways away. But yeah, you see and and you you watch as your you know your your enemy Montgomery. You can you can see through the window even his uh he he walks out onto the deck. He's only got one arm. You you can you can tell it's him. He's got you know like his his tricorn hat on with like a massive feather on it. Yeah. You can you know that Montgomery is the kind of guy he wants to be the first thing you see when you he walks into a yeah. room. But you see them and his crew, you know, all kind of get off the ship and begin to head into the port. And Montgomery stands there for a moment, staring at your ship. I want a bastard. Hey everybody, thanks for listening to our first episode of Treasure Ball. I hope you enjoyed listening to it half as much as we enjoyed recording it. Um, Stay tuned for the next part. Speaking of which, you can do that right now. You don't even have to finish listening to me talking, because the next part is up, well, right now, on our website, or on whatever podcasting service you're using. So, come visit us for all sorts of fun stuff, like info on our silly setting, or character sheets, all up on our website. Follow us on social media, we're on Facebook. Come tweet us at Deep Fried Dice, or our own personal handles which are up on our website um hang out with us on discord we're honestly we're just so lonely please come keep us company but again thanks so much for listening and really tell us what you thought